Hello everyone. So what I want to talk about today is this article by the, um, hang on here, article by the American Op Op Optometri Optom Optometric Association. And uh, calcium supplements may increase risk for age-related macular degeneration. <clears throat> So here's what I want to talk about. Um, we hear a lot about we can get all of our calcium from foods, and we should. And if we can, that's fabulous. Some people are overcalcified. I love that term. Even with foods, if they're eating a lot of cheese and they're, you know, too much. Okay, too much of a good thing. On the other hand, some people don't do dairy, like myself. And so I'm going to want to take the lower doses of, of calcium one to 300 max, and a few times a day. So I take about 600 a day because I don't eat dairy. Now, each person should be evaluated on their own whether or not to take calcium. Not just willy-nilly, everybody take calcium. And further in this article, I'm really pleased to see, they even mention, especially without magnesium. So you got to realize that these studies that have been done, have been done, on calcium carbonate. These are studies from, you know, huge studies, but that's typically what they give people for the studies is calcium carbonate. And they give it to them all at once. So, you know, and they don't balance it with magnesium. They don't balance it with vitamin K. You know, none of that happens. So they're going to get the worst possible scenario, I think anyway. So uh, I like this idea. Uh, and consuming this idea about, um, hang on one second here. I want to get my little annotation. About overcalcified patients, because I think that that's true. And I think some people are undercalcified. It is individual, okay? You can't make these sweeping generalizations about what everybody needs, but both are true. Too many people are taking calcium who don't need it, and too many people aren't taking calcium when they may need it. So how do we, you know, I want to look at this study here with you. So the research was published in JAMA, uh, included uh, over 3,000 participants, all 40 years and older, who are evaluated for the presence of age-related macular degeneration. The use of calcium supplements was self-reported. So that can also be a bit of a problem, but I do. there's something to this study. I believe this is true. And really what we're looking at again is calcium supplementation in studies, probably calcium carbonate. Maybe they use vitamin D also. They didn't do anything else like magnesium or anything else. And I don't know if each person was either just like willy-nilly, all these people were taking, 3,000 people were you know, self-reporting taking calcium needing it or not. So I'd like to see a study on 3,000 people that actually need it versus 3,000 people uh, that don't need it. That, that, that's different, okay? Okay, so they say degenerative disease such as macular degeneration and the most common types of glaucoma are in part a vascular, ocular, vascular disease. So if you do something that's going to potentially cause calcification in the vascular system, whether it's in the brain, the heart, the eyes, it's not going to be good. And a lot of times this also has to do with what? Inflammation. So inflammation is a big deal because calcium goes where inflammation is. So if these people on top of that are, are you know, eating beef all day and, you know, uh, sugary drinks, you know, any sodas. I mean, just stop sodas. Just nobody should be doing sodas. Nobody should do any sugary drinks. Water, this is what we're doing. And by the way, in the master class tonight, we're going to be talking a lot about dehydration. I drink a lot of water. <clears throat> and yes, people can drink too much water and mess with their electrolytes. So it's about balance, people. So, <clears throat> So we know that it's due to that. 
and uh, calcification via overzealous calcium supplementation, particularly in the face of widespread U.S. magnesium deficiency. Wow, I love that this is in there. It's a very bad practice. Calcium, so calcium supplementation without magnesium is really bad. Okay, most of you know that. And Dr. Uh, this doctor also notes that females over the age of 50 use calcium supplements to reduce risk of bone fracture because their doctor tells them, take calcium and take vitamin D, nothing else. So this is 100% better than it used to be. They used to only recommend <laughs> calcium. So they added vitamin D, well, maybe D2, okay, that's, whole, that's not good. But I'm, I'm just saying, you're getting my sarcasm here, but that's how I feel about it. But this guy says, yay, when in fact the real issue is estrogen loss. Hello, a 50-year-old woman, estrogen. Before, the year before menopause, when our periods become irregular, we are going to lose bone. End of story. It's going to happen. It can, if it's for women who can't take hormones, it, it can be slowed down with proper supplementation, balanced supplementation, nutrition and exercise, no question. For those who can take hormones like myself, you know, I've been lucky enough to be able to handle it. Not all of us can, but the point is we are all individual, aren't we? In our growth years and uh, during pregnancy, we need calcium. It can be obtained from ample plant food sources, uh, sufficient vitamin D exposure. Well, my new book on vitamin D, Dr. Lonnie's No Nonsense Sun Health Guide, I talk about that ridiculous statement, as well as dairy. I, you know, it depends on where you live. If you're getting out in the sun, you cannot count on the sun to give you what you need. I can assure you about that. In modern societies, there is sufficient plant food con consumption, insufficient magnesium, insufficient magnesium, and vitamin D intake. Okay, so now we'll go back to there's insufficient vitamin D intake. An excessive phosphate soda consumption. Just stop the sodas. And juice drinks. You just, you know, just stop it. Th those, those things, you're going to add years to your life right there if you it just stop that stuff. Um, Protein consumption and acid-forming foods, all of which adversely impact calcium status. Well, in the master class tonight, I'm certainly going to be talking about protein because a lot of my patients don't get enough protein. It's about balance. Too much protein is not good. Not enough is not good. Okay. Uh, the findings, uh, let's see. As primary care uh, providers, optometrists should be fully engaged in identifying over-calcified patients with retinal disease or glaucoma. Those, those taking two or three or even four calcium supplements, mind you, they're not saying how much. What if they're taking 100 four times a day? Especially without co-administered magnesium are at risk. So is it magnesium or calcium or both? I'd say it's both. And how it's delivered and just the absolute ignorance about nutrition and, and proper supplementation. 